How's it going guys? It's Poetry Stud. I'm just going to give you guys a little bit of an intro into the video you're about to see. Um, this is being recorded after the fact. Um, earlier today, on the day that I'm recording this at the very least, I did a stream of Hearts of Iron 4 attempting to do what some of you guys had voted on that we should do on the YouTube channel. Um, play Hearts of Iron 4 as a fascist France and I decided to go for the, the Latin Entente. Um, and it didn't quite go as planned, let's just say that. This, uh, this video is about an hour and a half or so long, um, and it involves two attempts that I did at the achievement at the start of it, and we will be doing more, don't worry. But uh, these attempts I'm uploading as their own video because it was kind of... Um, I thought there was a bit of baffling game design, and I kind of wanted to put it on blast here. Uh, so anyways, there's some interesting stuff that happens, and I'm not going to spoil it or whatever, but go into depth about it. I talk about it in the, the video. Um, but uh, it doesn't happen until later on in the video. So I'll leave some, some timestamps in the comments below if you want to skip all the stuff until that point. But I thought that it was going well. I was definitely, um, I think that there was some interesting talk of mechanics and some some interesting events and stuff. And um, if you're into kind of going along with the whole adventure of going running a a country in Hearts of Iron 4, then feel free to watch the whole thing. But I'll put some timestamps down in the comments below, or in the description, or both, um, leading to the parts where the, the stuff really gets out of hand and strange, um, if you know how some of the focuses and the events and stuff work in this game. Anywho, thanks for hearing me out. Hopefully you enjoy. Bye-bye. How's it going, guys? It's Poetry Sud, and welcome to another live stream series of Hearts of Iron 4. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, this is being streamed live currently on on uh, on Hearts of Iron 4. Yes, on, no, on Twitch. Um, we are streaming on the Twitch channel currently. If you're watching this on YouTube, it's probably a few days after the first stream. People voted um, a couple weeks ago on a poll I did on YouTube about whether or not my next YouTube series should be EU4 and Hearts of Iron 4. Hearts of Iron 4 was second after EU4, so because I like to split up my stuff between streaming and, and recording, and I've been doing a lot of recording for EU4, we're going to do Hearts of Iron 4 live and post the VODs to YouTube. Hopefully those of you who prefer the YouTube format don't mind too much, but again, I, I like to split up my time recording and streaming. I like to stream a bit and record a bit. I don't like to do a ton of recording, only recording. So, so we're going to go ahead and do uh, this series live on Twitch. We're going to be starting off today playing as France. So, our plan is to do the new, so one of the new things that France has added. Of course, the thing is, I haven't played France literally since launch, so I'm not sure, um, I'm actually not sure what, what is different. <laughs> um, but we are going to be going for the Latin Entente route, which I believe is fascist. I think you have to go fascist for that anyways, and I think that's all, I think that's the best way to avoid war with Germany. Well, I don't even know if we can avoid war with Germany. We're, we're going to figure this all out as we get going. We're going to be doing an ahistorical France run, though, suffice it to say. <clears throat> the first ever campaign I did in this game, um, when the game released, was a France run trying to play a democratic historical France, trying to um, hold off against Germany. I was like, oh, th this game, I've heard people say Hearts of Iron 4. I've heard streamers say that Hearts of Iron 4 is easier than 3. And I played 3 of it, and 3 was hard, so I was like, oh, sure, I can do it. Nope, I couldn't. <laughs> so we're going to see if now we have better luck. A couple years later, four years later? Man, Hearts of Iron 4 has been out that long. <laughs> uh, anyways, let's go and hop in here. I did have Iron No, wait, I didn't have Iron Man selected, did I? Hold on. <laughs> Might want to do that. I'm pretty sure it had the X marked icon. Because um, it also didn't ask us to give a name for this campaign. All right. Immediately, I made my first mistake. <laughs> Come on, game. Mm -hmm. By the way, if anyone is watching in, <clears throat> in the stream, please let me know if I need to change my uh, my volume settings. I don't think we are. This is not a. <laughs> I did not do an Iron Man mode run. Okay. Back to the menu. Hopefully you don't go quicker now. Alright, now let's do it for real. Iron Man mode. Historical focuses, regular difficulty. Latin Entente. Okay, here we go. There we go. So, here we are. 
that's France. Um, obviously it's going to take some time to kind of just figure out what the heck is going on. I know that we start with a lot of penalties. It's been a, a lot of changes have been made in the game since I last played as France. So I believe the route we're going for is going to be this route right here. Right, so we would do revive the national block right off the bat. Start getting more political power from that. We then do utilize the league, right? Um, if we do that, we could then do... So what is the difference between this one? This one looks like it's a... This is basically a... Uh, monarchist route. We have done enough monarchist ones. We don't want to do that. We are going to be doing um, a fascist run here. Utilize the leagues. Goes into national regeneration. Movement. Francis. I don't know. I don't speak French. I apologize in advance. <laughs> um, political unity. Yeah, so this is the fascist route. Um... Interesting. The Latin Entente. So then, I think this is what we want to do. I think we want to try to... We're going to try to conquer stuff, obviously, but I think we should try to... Uh... We're going to try to get these guys to all join our faction, right? Spain, Italy, Portugal, etc. And then... That'll give us a better chance, hopefully, of dealing with uh, Germany if they attack us, or other people, you know? We really need to go straight for this to make sure that Italy joins our faction. So we, luckily, I think we can do that pretty quickly. I don't think there's any other, I don't see any other requirements, so as long as we can get to that, let's do it. Honestly, I know we have a lot of other stuff to look at, but we need to get that before Italy joins the Axis. So, let's go for the Latin Entente first. Because that's the thing, right? As France, I think we, you know, we're strong enough that if we could survive initially, we could probably have enough manpower to, uh, to, to deal with conquering a lot. But I, I'd rather do a little more of a faction-focused run this time, you know. So cool. We only start with three, but that's fair. That's a, that's par for the course. All right, we have that. Let's go and do that, and let's do lot. Nice, not bad. Obviously. Yeah, man, I haven't played France in a long time. Let's do, no, just one of these, since they're out of date. Um, I want these ones to be indefinite. Same with this one. We're actually, uh, we're, we're up to date on, on ships, actually, so that's beautiful. Our tech starts in an alright spot, which makes sense, you know. France was... their tech was fine, right? Like, um... Yeah, not a big deal. We have a lot of factories right off the bat, so that's good. Here's what we should do. Let's only do one battle cruiser. Let's do one of the... Basically, I want to make sure, you know, submarines and destroyers are ones that you can always not feel bad about just pumping out, because they're cheap anyways. I think what we want to do is, is make sure we finish all the other ones first, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we'll redistribute, reset it up, you know, get that figured out later. Um, that's all we have there for... That's what we have the, the notice for, for that stuff. Um... Light tanks, I'm not really going to worry about. It's a minor priority. We really want to make sure we get uh, this stuff set up. Pretty much, I think that'll be good for now. We've got lots of divisions. Okay. Um... And, uh, yeah. So I know that we are a colonial power. We have a lot of colonial land. I'm assuming eventually we get something that maybe lets us integrate things. We'll see. Let's actually, we should look at, we should spend time looking at our focus tree, but uh, at the same time, uh, I don't know. 
navy. Oh my god, our navy is so big. That's nice. That's nice. Give it a time. We, you know, the beginning of the game as a big country like this, you gotta, you gotta start, uh, start out with just uh, making sure this is good. Let's have a colonial division. We also start with, yeah, a colonial division. I don't know, man. I guess, I guess just. Maybe these are all colonial divisions, mostly some cavalry. So we start with ports and islands all around the place, right? Like we have New Caledonia, or whatever. We have um, we have French Indochina, you know, so Cambodia, Laos, and uh, Vietnam. Which is all good. Um, I don't know. I mean, for now, I don't. I don't think we really need to um, worry about most of this. Right. We need to start setting up uh, colonial <laughs> armies. I don't know. The colonial division. Why did I say colonial division? Colonial theater. Colonial theater. Let's pronounce it the or spell it the American way. <laughs> Attention. Attention. All right. Um, I guess border with. Spain doesn't matter. Just border somewhere so that you're doing Indeed. stuff. These divisions down here in Africa, I feel like should border the UK. I guess I don't know. Man, um, what other other side divisions do we have? Uh, we have Madagascar. That's right. So I'm not even gonna. I don't think I'm gonna bother bother defending Madagascar because there's no resources there. Like I don't know. The ports are useful. Don't get me wrong. I understand that. But, um, what are we supposed to do? Like, um, we're supposed to guard every single one. Here, Syria, and, uh, was this, this is Lebanon, right? Yeah. Syria and Lebanon, um, are, are gonna be, gonna be fine. Um, yeah, Syria and Lebanon are gonna be good, um, to defend. We want to do that. Hmm. There we go. More, more. Here, I'm gonna put you. I'm gonna bring you up to this one, actually. Okay, and that was the last one. At least we don't have any in French Suriname or anywhere else. All right. So that's fine. Uh, we're on speed one, by the way. <laughs> Mm-hmm. All right. Here's what we do. Maybe we want to start uh, taking our. So we have colonial divisions mixed in here. Attention. I think these colonial divisions will take. You know, let's start sorting through things. Attention. Colonial divisions should go to to colonial areas first. And that brings us down into the realm of regional military here. Attention. I think cavalry are, are better to bring back home, though. Attention. And actually... <laughs> oh, gosh. I'll leave those guys there. They're out of the way in Indochina. I don't want to move them. You know what? No, I'll, I'll take one division and put them in freaking... North Africa. There we go. Um, but other than that, I think this is fine. Reinforcement should be a priority. Um, yeah, for the first little while, as we're kind of going here, I'm going to be looking at stuff here. So yeah, we definitely want to go, we, we already decided beforehand, I'm going to go fascist France. You Utilize the leagues is what we want to do. Uh, and then we'll have, after we go all the way down here to get Italy to join us, what do we do then? I know that, obviously, actually, yeah, before we unpause and keep going, we have a lot of national spirits. Victors of the Great War. Yeah, that's unfortunate. We need to get rid of that at some point. Disjointed government, obviously terrible. F 
full employment, political violence, inefficient economy. Yeah, we have a lot of terrible, terrible national spirits. Hmm. Okay, that's good. That's a nice one. How do we get rid of our rearmament? Okay. Hmm. Um. How do you get rid of the... It seems like there's a lot of stuff here. So that's how you get rid of that one. Okay, integralism. That's cool. Political unity. Oh, that's the one we need. Yes. All right. Cool. Let's let's keep going. Let's keep going here. So I'm starting to. We we have a basically we have focuses that eventually can get rid of our penalties. I mean, which what we expected. We didn't expect anything different. For now, though, we need to beeline straight towards becoming fascist and getting Italy to join our faction. That's very important. So, here we go. Revive the National Spock. Okay, so what is this? Remilitarization of the Rhineland. That's right, I forgot about this. I've never tried to do, like, just a full-on... <laughs> um... This is not what we want to do, but it's also... I wonder if you could pull it off, though, if you're a good player. If you're a better player than me, probably have more divisions. So you have more divisions on them, obviously. So I wonder if that's actually a viable strat. You just yeet them. But we're not going to do that right now. We're not going to do that right now. Hmm. Hmm. Focus, please. All right, let's go. So what do we got going on here? We're constructing civilian factories. I almost always start by building civilian factories. I think it's, it's, you know, get a good economic base. Get a good baseline. And it'll last you the rest of the campaign. Yeah, the other reason I'm kind of thinking that I might be, I want to do the faction, or we're definitely going to do the faction, I already decided, is because if you're playing as... With the way compliance and resistance works now, it gets really expensive to hold land. And this is land is good, it's good economically, but I think it, you know, it's better to have them use it because they'll serve them, they can make better use of it, right? It's like an EO4, sometimes it's better to feed a vassal all the stuff of their culture rather than you try to take that stuff that's not of a accepted culture directly, right? And so with Spain, Portugal, Italy on our side, that'll be a good support. It will probably, us and Italy will be like the main forces, but... Even Spain and Portugal, they'll start providing us some forces over time, and uh, it'll help when we're in big wars where I don't want to be handling literally everything with only my manpower. Rubber plantation. Honestly, do it. Rubber is pretty uh, important. Okay. Ease up conscription. Ouch. I can't do that. Ow. That's not going to be good. Mmm. Hmm. hmm. Right, luckily time is ticking by pretty quickly. <clears throat> Sometimes this game gets a little slow, but... Normally not until you're at war. Uh, we have an election. Communist in government. To your probably like communism. Yeah, no, we don't want to do it. Um, disperse industry is better, probably. Hmm.
trade-wise, luckily we have lots of resources and stuff all around the world, so we are, and like steel-wise, we are we're fine. We actually have, I think we have like the largest steel probably any single country has, so that's good. Utilize the leagues. I want to see ease of prescriptions. Oh no. Political actions. All right. So what is this? Give refuge to German scientists. Huh. La Colune? There we go. We're gonna do that. And oh no. Oh okay, I see. We actually have to have this higher. So, hmm. Let's see. Lazy fair. Our economy become more efficient after a period of about two years. Hmm. Or agricultural protectionism. So that would be so impact your production speed. You can only choose one of these, but the rest you can do. By the way, good. This is what we should do. Uh oh. Protest is sending to violence. Hmm. Hmm. Political violence here. Well, if we have to wait anyways, it's probably good to do this. Let's do this now, so it starts ticking in our favor. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> uh oh. Wow, okay. I didn't realize this was distressing. If we don't do this in 100 days. We will get a civil war? Okay. Um, I'd, I'd really like to avoid that, but uh... I don't think we're gonna have. Oh God! I hope we don't have a civil war here. Um, hmm. Hmm. That's. Uh, did not realize this was a thing that could happen. But if we do this, if we ban communism, well, what's gonna happen? I have no idea. We're gonna find out, I guess. Okay. This is exciting. I, I haven't done this stuff in a long time, so. Hmm. Okay. And that's fine. So we gain, so we're gonna lose political violence from this, right? And communism goes down, which means maybe it'll not be an option for them to revolt. I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. I'm not gonna do this yet. I'm not gonna do that yet. It's an instant effect too, so we don't need to, it's something we need to do right now. Okay. We're just waiting for this Spain communism. Oh, there's the Nationalist Spain war. Alright, so we hope the Nationalist Spain wins before before we start having our stuff happening, you know. Can't do that right now. I can't afford it, especially because we need it for other stuff. We need our political power for other stuff. So what is going to happen from this? One point one nine per day. If we wait a few days, you wait one. Okay, one point one nine per day. If we wait, so how many days is that? I think we should ease up conscription. But apparently, we can do that. 
I really don't want to have a civil war, so let's uh let's, let's hold on here. Let's hold off on doing any focuses. It's gonna desync us but from the rest of the world, but that's not like a that's not a big deal. I'd really I'd really like to avoid avoid this, you know. Nine fifty. All right, here we go. I've eased up conscription, you mofos. You still can't do this one either. Here's a question. So we can't do that, obviously. But uh, we should do at least one more focus on while we're waiting. Intervention in Spain. I'm gonna wait on that. Laissez-faire. So we get our economic, our economy will become more efficient after a period of about two years. I don't know what that means though, right? Like, I'm also gonna do that one. Let's try it. All right, let's go, boys. I don't have any divisions of basic trading. That's fine. Once we get to that point, we can build some military factories. Oh god. <laughs> oh, we we're gaining it so slowly. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous, actually. Both of these are increasing, non-aligned and and movement francis. So uh, soon we'll have soon enough, at least we should have above at least above um, fifty percent with both of those, right? And that's what we need. The leagues keep doing it. There you go. That might actually put us above it. Yes, okay. We have more than half the pies from those two. We gotta keep rallying the leagues. I mean, it's uh, it's taking a toll on our stability, but it's, uh, it's definitely worth it. All right, what do we have here now? So let's see. Support equipment. Support battalions. Field hospitals. Um... Hmm, grand battle plan is pretty bad, I think. Um, what else we got? What else we got? Honestly, let's do uh, let's do this. Get a fighter. Why not? All right, let's do it, boys. Laissez faire. All right, laissez faire has been completed. We can do this. This is what we need to do. Okay. Once we do this, we can easily get to. So there's no. I don't think there's any other thing here. Then we do this. Then we do this. Then we do this. We're. We should be able to do this before. I think we're at least a year out from when they ally Germany. So we'll see if we can do it. Hmm. What is our export focus law like? It's on export focus. That's good. That's what it should be. Civilian economy sucks a lot. <laughs> oh, we can't change that right now. <clears throat> All right, communist party is completely gone. Wow. Um, and now we have like a three-way split, basically. When we start doing, oh god, that just completely removes, that's really good. It removes disjointed government, though. That would be important to do. I might actually do that early. Like, these are all good, don't get me wrong, but like, um, it might be better to do that one even before we go, because that way we can start getting political power, at least, which we're going to need for other things. I think we have enough time, right? One, two, three, four, five times seventy is like, like 
350 days, basically a year. A year. Hold on. When does Italy... Well, no, it's Germany. Germany is the one that gets the ability to ask for Italy to join. I don't think it comes for a while, so it might be worth risking. Because, like, so some of these are, like, stuff we can't really do. Protected by the Imaginal Line. I'm not going to get rid of that right now. Victor was a great war. I don't even know how to get, war that, get rid of that. I'm sure there is a way. Inefficient economy, whatever. We can't really help. But disjointed government is probably the worst one for us right now. And that's when we can actually... We do have a way to affect it. So I think we should. Okay, national regeneration has been completed. So we are now Nation Francaise. I'm probably butchering the pronunciation of that, but um, yeah, all right, good. So now our fascist party is in charge. Base stability is not gonna be high, seeing as our ruling party is not like super popular. So if we're really in a rush, it we're gonna go this way, this way, then this way. Make sure that Italy joins us. But I think it might I think it's worth it to do this right off the bat. Just so we remove disjointed government and we get our stability up. Yeah, let's do it. Let's just let's just do this. Just make our country a little more stable first, and then we beeline it. Mm, yeah. Okay. I'm probably gonna stream for about another hour and fifteen minutes or so. Not enough member to fill our garrisons. That's not good. Or is it equipment? It's, it's infantry equipment. Here. Hmm. There we go. I got it. Okay. Let's see. Um, I can do that. Yep. All right. Let's see. We start with a decent position on research. Like we actually start with a lot of the stuff that normally I would prioritize doing at first. So that's good. That is, of all things, at least that is good for us at the start here. So after this, after this battle cruiser finishes, oh god, it's so far away still though. It's fine. They're going. Are we done demobilizing? Yes. Good. I'll go away. Mm, we're in a very unstable point right now. <laughs> but this should help. So this is basically going to switch all the non-aligned to being fascist support. So, here we go. There's the war with the war in Spain. So that makes us very popular now and we no longer have as much of an issue all right yeah our base base popular or base stability has gone up for one yeah i'm looking at the other ones but now we definitely we could do intervention in spain it's only 35 days Let's do that real quick. I know I said I was going to beeline it, but I, I think we should do this because if we get an opinion buff or something else from helping by sending volunteers or whatever, that'd be nice. I think actually we might be able to send volunteers right now. Let's do that and then. That's a big bonus. Um, hmm. Oh shit, hold on. I left something in the freezer. One sec. 
Up his next door. Okay. I'm sorry about that. <clears throat> okay. Let's see here. I need to get better. I need to get a chair that isn't as squeaky. This chair is like all decently comfortable, but it's, it's squeaky. It's squeaky. Uh, expand my reputation. Do it, man. I don't know what we're gonna see here from this event. I mean, with this uh, focus here. So we can't, well, we can't sell all the tears right now. We should then. Well, wait a sec. So I wanna see what these intervention decisions are. We're actually making political power. Look at that. It's wonderful. So what type of decisions we have here? Um, allow non-military. Wow, a lot. Of, we have a lot of things. It says it's sending us, sending it to us. I'm assuming it means to Spain. Parties in the space will gain or wait, so we can we can do volunteer work in all sides. Uh no. To the non-intervention committee? What is this? Ooh. We can intervene on the side of National Spain. Honestly, would not be the worst idea in uh in the world, you know? That would not be bad. Hmm. I think for now we should just send like normal volunteers. Um four. Alright, we can send four volunteers. You have some tanks. Send tanks. Do we have any tanks in this? Yes. And our tanks are all full strength. Good. Alphonse Wien. Alright. Again, I'm probably butchering these names. If you're watching on YouTube in the future, or if anyone's watching on Twitch right now, <laughs> I, I apologize for that. Oh, here. Um, and then we go for this. Launch fear forces and transfer. How long? We'll get a notification there at twenty first. Okay. Mm. We could also do some of these decisions. I think we should wait a little bit on that though. Equity. Um. Let's put them. Uh, up here. We should probably just manually control them, to be fair. Let's go to speed 4. We got something to do for a while. Not that the build up isn't something to do, you know. But yeah, let's, let's get our uh, tanks going. Yeah, if they help me, we can cut them off here. No, it's not gonna work. We're just gonna push them back. That still works. It's still good. Okay.
C'est parti. Hmm. Lots of stuff happening. Allez. Come on, boys, we can do it. If we can push through here, Spain, help me out. Yes, there we go. If we get some infantry in here, that'll be good. So if we can push through here, that'll be amazing. Maze balls, yeah. <laughs> do we want to do some of these decisions? It lowers our stability down, which is not good. But our war support goes up. We could like we could intervene if we do a couple of these. I don't think that would cause the like any major other people to intervene though, would it? <laughs> I'm not so sure. Here's what we'll do. I think we'll, we'll try to move towards this option here. Here's what we'll do. Put you on the border there, at the very least. Let's try it. Here, here's what we'll do. Stability is so low. We can do that. Our stability is literally at zero. <laughs> I'm sure, that's not very good. Charles de Gaulle, okay. Let's wait for this and, uh, and then we'll see. I mean, if we can help him take out this war quickly, that'd be nice. You know what? No, I should. Oh, it's too late. Ah. I was like, maybe we should use that bonus for something better. Like, that takes longer by default. Hmm. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can do it. Yeah, okay. It looks like it worked properly. Uh-oh. Excuse me? What? I was not told of this outcome. Communist uprising, gosh darn it. Hello Siam, welcome. You got over here just as the action is starting to happen. <laughs> For one, we have intervened, we're already fascist, we intervened in the Spanish Civil War. Apparently that caused the communist uprising to fire. So now we've got to deal with the communist uprising. Okay. 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 Well then, this is not what I expected. Mmm. It's going to be a little annoying, isn't it? Mmm. Let's see what we can do here. We've got a few guys over there. Uh, who is attacking us there? What is happening there? Alright. Now, see if you guys can do this. You guys are a new... St a new yes, your new army as well. You guys are probably you're not in a you're not in a good spot. Okay, but uh, why can't we see Nationalist Spain's troops anyways? Like we can only see our own. I guess because we're on like a faction either. I guess I don't know. Yeah, not not the not the greatest situations. That the fact that this happened is it supposed to happen like this? Like the so far it's been good. I was not expecting this because we already banned communism. So I was like, I thought we were done with the whole communist thing. Apparently not. Apparently we are just getting started. Attention. Bougez-vous. 
You need to get some supply there. Um. More normally, I'm not really worried. Rebellions aren't normally hard to deal with in this game. But uh, I'm just a little annoyed that they just like immediately popped once I did that. All right, yes. Yes, Nationalist Spain. I want you on my side. That's the thing, dude. Should be fine. We just need to get going quicker. Get going quickly here. We've lost Bordeaux apparently, um, so there's someone. I mean, get going there, but also, oh god, oh god, <laughs> there's so many. Where are they coming from? We can beat them. Hmm. And, uh, let's see. Whew. I don't have access in New National Spain here. Let me access my dude. Well, but. You know what? No, we should keep him here. Hold on. You're not ready for half the stuff happening? Mm <laughs> hmm. How do they have so many? <laughs> I understand. Where'd they come from? Oh god, what is this? this is not I was not expecting this. This is maybe not good. I don't know if we're gonna be able to win this, honestly. Alright, we have volunteers at the very least. What is it? These are oh these are the divisions we had. Here. Come back dudes. Come back dudes. Yeah, the French commune. They popped out and they're like, yo dude, what's up going what's going on? And now they've like basically cut off half my country, so that's lovely. <laughs> but I can't spare. Ah, oh. ah! Oh. I can't. <laughs> Where am I supposed? To... They have so many troops. I don't understand how they have so much support, seeing as there's literally zero percent support for the Communist Party. Like that's what I don't understand. How do they have so many troops? Is it not based off of that? I thought it was. I thought that these type of revolts are based off of the amount of support they have. But I guess not. I guess it's just. Hard coded to have a big, rebe big ass rebellion. Which is very annoying. Like they're cutting me off everywhere, man. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> I hate it so much. This is BS. This is bullshit. I don't even know why they popped. I don't know why they popped. Because it said, like, it didn't say. It didn't give me a warning, they just were like, oh, oh, hey, here we go. Next <laughs> point out. Yeah, it's whack. I think the Civil War won't fire if you keep your stability above 25%. Oh. <sighs> that probably was it then, because I got, I meant zero. Yeah. That's weird though, because we even removed the thing that said uh, the political violence thing. We removed it. I thought that meant we were safe. Like, I thought we meant we were safe. Apparently, I misinterpreted. <laughs> I'm a little salty, but like, come on. You can't blame me, right? Like, like it's kind of out of the blue and just like, oh, hey, by the way, you're in a civil war now. I don't even know if we're going to be able to survive this. Well, the other thing is how, uh, nowhere does it say when you, okay. So, the other question is, how do they have so many fucking troops? How do they have such a big fucking army? Attention. How do they have such a big effing army, seeing as, like... <laughs> gosh darn it. Alright, dudes. No, 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 stop. What are you guys doing? Oh, gosh darn it. 
We have an army down here that's not doing anything. We need to come back. Hold on. Hold on. Attention. Attention. Hmm. How do they have so many troops? Is it because they like? Because the thing is, they didn't have any support, so I don't understand how they had so many troops. No, 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 no! Hold on, hold on. you guys need to stop being dumb and start being smart. <laughs> okay, hold on. We're gonna do this. We're gonna we're gonna show the AI who's boss. It's gonna suck. We're gonna do it. They take half your army. That's silly, though. It should be proportional to the amount of support you have, you know? We're gonna sit in... <laughs> How close are you? Oh, God. Ah! <laughs> close to capitulating. If they take these ports, we might capitulate. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, huh? We gotta, we gotta launch a... Attention. Hold on, we can do this. I'm glad you guys agree with me that this is kind of, kind of BS. No, oh, rip, that one's dead. The one in the old might be able to hold on longer. I think we might be screwed though. Did we start with Nant? I don't remember. No! <laughs> we literally died. We lost the game. We have a game over. Oh my god. That's bullshit. That is such horseshit. Oh my god. Alright, now we know for next time, don't go below 25% stability. <laughs> That's not your fault. I mean, it's no, it's no one's fault except mine and kind of the game. That's a little... I'm not, I'm not going to take all the blame for that. <laughs> um, let's see. How much time do we have? Got about an hour till... Um, got about an hour until... I need to go start making dinner. So we're gonna start again. We're gonna start again. We can probably make it to a decent point. And that was about an hour of play there, so. No, so it'll be lesson on taunt. Dude, you said nice, do not fail. I like that advice. Crack open a cold one, boys. I um this time I'm gonna play things a little differently. For one, we'll leave those guys up there. I'm taking most of our armies and bringing them back to the homeland. Um, so we're gonna get things going, get things set up, and then we're just gonna get going. What I want to do is I want to do what I did before here, like this. Yeah, and then the rest of these guys just have, yeah, like this. Um, that way we knock them out, and then eventually we have just the line here. Wait, this is not right either. No, I want submarines to be infinite. Light cruisers, no. Um, yes, something like this. All right, cool. Infantry equipment is what we need most of right now. Civilian factories. I'm gonna, the last time I did only civilian, let's, let's kind of alternate. Civilian, military, civilian, military. Okay, right off the bat, research is easy. You just pop it in there, you pop it in there, you pop it in there, beautiful. Um, you, here, you can come to the same front line, why not? Mm -hmm. And you guys over here, because I know it'll give me a notification otherwise. Go and just line up a good sound. Uh, alright. Colonial Theater. Europe, North Africa. Attention. 
There we go. That's all right. Yeah, all right, cool. I'm pouring this drink for myself. And we're gonna get going here. We're gonna try to make it to an interesting point again. I thought that wasn't interesting in a certain sense. <laughs> Hold on, I'll be right back. Oh, it's on speed one. Let's go to speed three while I go get a napkin for this drink I spilled. <laughs> Spill it just the, some of the water kind of splashed off to the side. Okay. Hmm, this is going on YouTube. I wonder what people on YouTube will say when they when they see what happened there. Okay. Yeah, I, I was kind of BS, but you know. I, I knew there might, I actually was thinking that stability going down the farm might cause like bad events or something, but I've never seen that before, so. I thought there was a chance that it was a thing, but I didn't, I've never seen it, so I didn't think it was, you know, if that makes sense. Hmm, <laughs> can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Gardez vos rangs. Um, I'm gonna do with the army, just not let the whole thing. Where we go? Cool. Hmm. I don't have any fuel right now. So I don't have any oil. Here. Here, US, give me some oil. Please. So I have some fuel. <laughs> oh god, it's still not. Oh, it's not nearly enough. No, screw that. Never mind. Where is the boat? Where are the boats? They're really all all going out there. Okay, they chose like the furthest away port to group in. <laughs> That's so lame. Okay, whatever. Hmm. Maybe we just we just fight Germany. No, no, I'm not gonna do that. All right. Um. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna do this one. Um. Yeah. I mean, what else are we gonna do here? So, I guess we should we could take all of our clone divisions and have one army with just them. Leave that on this border. Take the other. The other troops and put them on these other borders. Since that's probably, you know, I, I don't know why we would get in one with them, but, you know, just in case. Écoutez. Écoutez. Cool. There we go. Wait a minute. Oh, I did that wrong. Now I'm letting you guys be down here. And then, uh, you guys to be up. Here, just, just, just redo it. Just redo it. Just redo it. Let me set my armies. There you go. Is that where you, that's where you are, Sam? You said he's completely shut down? Yeah. Ah, oh, shit, I forgot about this whole thing. I wish I could do it. 
Um, to be honest, I should have just waited to take my first uh, one because I knew this was a thing. Forgot about it. Yeah, that sucks, man. Yeah, I live in like a small city, so not as big of a deal here yet because there haven't been any cases um, in this city. But there have been ones in places nearby, and I'm assuming it's only a matter of time till stuff here starts shutting down. So I kind of feel like we should just do this because we, we need the stability apparently and also the, we have the thing that makes it so that, where is it, we can ban communism and it doesn't matter anyways. <laughs> I got you saying that, yeah, that's a, you know, it is worrisome. So yeah, so there's the second round. So after this, we hold off on doing a, our next one. Actually, we're not even going to lose any progress. Look at that. Yeah, let me do this one. All right, let's go, boys. That's a good thing. We already know what we want to do here, I think. Because it worked out well, except for the whole weird thing with that. That which shall not be named... Uh, waiting for this stuff. Waiting for that decision to come back as well. I think I don't know what determines how often it comes back. It seemed like it was every like fifty days or so. Last time. There's the civil war. Mm-hmm. I think this time we might just not get involved, you know. There's probably the league. Yeah. Um, okay, unfortunately this will put us below 25%. So, if that was, if that is the trigger, we should try to get our base stability up again pretty quickly here. There was, I know, the, um... Hmm. government and then I want to do this one as soon as we can can't do it yet we would like to fair maybe 20 percent okay yeah we just we want to keep it higher it seems yeah
Now that it's going down, the other ones are going up, and they should very quickly take over. Ah, that's rough. It's a rough spot to be in. Okay, let's uh, let's queue up some more stuff here. I think we should actually not worry about this as much. We need just we just need more <laughs> more infantry coming. Hmm. 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 Last time, I did Lysia Fair, and then I think I was able to do this. I think because I had the decision come back. Problem is, well, we click this. The problem is that we. <laughs> Uh, let's not click it yet. We, we're fine. I think we might actually hit 50% without doing that. We're close. By the time communist is gone, maybe it'll, it'll work. We'll see. Hmm. Okay, all of our research ready to go. Um. There we go. Why is it fair? So we can't do this one yet. I think that's okay. Let's do this. <laughs> Stability. <laughs> Please. Please, I need it. Hmm. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? We have it now? <laughs> I think you're right. I think it's 25%. Ah, all right. It's at least it's better than having it right after I declare war on Spain. That was pretty bad timing last time. All right, boys. Here's the here's the deal. We're gonna quickly. I don't know. I don't think you have a lot of time to react before. Um, here, we're gonna try to get to to Paris before we before it fires. There's a weakly stability guy. Yeah, but I don't have any political power. I can't get any... Alright, here's what we do. Yeah, that's the other thing, though, is we weren't even fascists yet. Yeah. So there's not helping. Alright. I feel much better prepared this time, though. We have enough for two armies that are of decent, half decent size. Excuse me? Excuse me? No, that's fine. This is actually better. This is better placement. Um, or spawning position. Because last time, one of the problems was that we had, they had this pocket here, they had like a couple pockets here and here, and they had part at most down here. This is not as bad. And if we could deal with this once and for all, I wouldn't mind it, right? <laughs> Stability's at zero now, lovely. Uh, but our war support is never been higher. <laughs> Here's what we do. Take three more. Let's actually take a. Oh, gosh, are we have colonial divisions? So uh, that's fine. It's better than no divisions. <laughs> See what we can do here, boys. See what we can do here. Hmm. Where's our navy? It's all the way over here still. <laughs> uh, F that. I'm not bringing them back. Hey, we have planes here. Uh, doesn't matter. <laughs> Does not matter at all. Hold on.
Alright, let's see what we can do here. So if they get half our army, that means we're on equal footing. I don't know if I like that or hate it. Alright, air support. Alright, what we want to do, we really want to make sure... Okay, well, so luckily that actually did get us to the point where we can we have the criteria for the next focus. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna f these guys up. You bastards are gonna freaking be destroyed. I'm not gonna even focus on the southern the whole southern front right now. Actually, want let them get more. Let them get more. Let them. Uh, well, maybe I shouldn't say that. I don't know. Yeah, the political violence thing. Actually, we still have that, though, don't we? I didn't get rid of it this time. No, I did. Because I banned communism. Yeah. Yeah, it's stupid. It's stupid. Okay, I don't want to... Hmm. 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 We're gonna, here's what we're gonna do, we're gonna wreck these guys in the frickin' face. If we can destroy this pocket early on. Mm, I really don't want to get cut off here in Bordeaux. I don't know, man. I don't know, the southern front is not looking good right now, but... Uh, I think it's okay. I think it's okay. Here's what we do. Kills in me. Split it into a new, a new army. Ah, we have the generals now. I think they were like transporting or something. So, All right, generals will help a bit. Attention. Oh, we lost all our. Okay. I see the problem. Um, here, take you. Okay, there we go. Hmm. We'll see what we can do there. As long as we can hold on better than we did last time, I'll be happy there. Um, this really sucks, though. So I don't appreciate this. <laughs> I don't. I don't think this is a good mechanic or a good set of events or whatever. Like the the fact that they that you do everything to get rid of the communists and then they just uprise and get half your army anyways. That's pretty fucking stupid, if you ask me. <laughs> It just doesn't make sense to me. I don't. I don't understand. What's the point then? All right? What's the point of doing the the focus? What's the point of doing the focus if they if it just doesn't matter? Oh my god! And we can't even. Why are they so much harder to beat now? What's going on? Why are they? What is that even supposed to mean, funny guy? That that is not a. Uh, I don't. Funny guy, what is that even supposed to mean? <laughs> I'm not even gonna read that. Hmm. Um, let's go here. 
What the hell? How are they? They have Soviets here! Ugh. There's freaking Soviets. That's why this is so difficult. I was hoping to smash these guys up quickly. Not gonna happen now. Now I'm like, we might not even be able to get these guys killed at all. Let's see what we can do. to play defensively here, I think. Oh, what the fuck? There's a whole army over here I didn't even see. Oh! Oh, I don't have an army to mess with this. What am I supposed to do? Was this one there from the start? Because I swear I didn't see them. And how do I deal with this? I don't think I can afford this I don't think I can I don't know let's try let's try our best but like seriously this sucks I don't I don't like this I don't, I don't like this Deals in me. I don't know man this seems like a really dumb mechanic or not mechanic I don't know like event chain I don't know like is railroaded to basically be like oh hey even though you did the stuff that would make sense to get rid of this possible chance for rebellion, here's a rebellion. Have fun. It's fucking stupid. It's pretty freaking stupid. If you ask me. If you ask me, it is stupid. I really don't want to have to fight a civil war this early in the campaign. It's just It just makes everything go so much slower. So lame. I don't know, man. I tell you what, guys. I was planning on going longer, but I think I'm just gonna wrap up because I think I think what I need to do is I need to come back and knowing this info that is never told to you, you know, that's one thing. Knowing this info now, I don't think I'm gonna do the same thing as before. I'm gonna be a lot more careful about going below 25%. I'm not gonna go below by 25%. I think this run is basically screwed as well. Um, the only hope we have of surviving this run is basically, I think, wait till we quickly get Italy in. That's too far away. It's not viable. I don't know. This It's just, yeah, I'm gonna have some dinner. I have to go make dinner. Um, I was thinking about streaming myself making dinner, but I, I have to set it up and stuff. And I like to watch videos while I eat dinner, so I'm not going to do that. Um, not tonight. At some point, I want to do that. But uh, anyways, yeah, I don't know. I I have very mixed thoughts. Actually, they're not very mixed. I'm pretty negative on the whole civil war, even if you do what is. <laughs> Like, the whole point of banning communism and stuff and having their support go down, I thought was the idea that you avoid the rebellions and the possibility of some war. Is that intended, or is this supposed to, or is this a bug? I don't know. It's, either way, I don't like it. <laughs> and I think they should change it. So, anyways, that's my thoughts on that. I'm gonna probably, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to upload this VOD probably to YouTube all is one big chunk since it's not really the start of a new series it's two fail attempts and me ranting about it so that's probably what I'll do I'll, I'll upload this as one VOD to YouTube if you're watching this on YouTube you will have seen that by now and I'll probably title it something like why is <laughs> why is France so dumb or <laughs> something like that I don't know well, why is why is the French communist why is the french commune so dumb i don't know 
I'll figure out some title, some clickbait title for it. <laughs> Anywho, I don't know. I I don't know. I could fill a video probably my thoughts about this design design decision. But anyways, um, yeah, we're gonna wrap up here. Thanks for for hanging out, guys. Um, who've been hanging on the stream, Nick 2.0 and Siam 666. Thank you guys for hanging out. We're going to go to wrap up here. If you're watching on YouTube in the future, please leave a like and subscribe for more if you've gotten this point in the video and enjoyed it. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. I'll host someone up in a moment. But uh, for now, bye-bye.